Hello and welcome to another internet marketing tutorial from compelstore.com. Today we're going to talk about keyword research. Keyword research is essentially asking Google what people are searching for in relation to your individual product or apparel and then optimizing your pages for those terms. In doing so, search engines like Google will rank you higher for search terms, driving more traffic and sales to your website. You can also use this strategy when thinking of ideas for custom garments. If there are a lot of people searching for something like funny penguin t-shirt, you might want to create a custom funny penguin t-shirt. So let's take a look. For the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to use our funny t-shirt don't poke the penguin. The first thing that you're going to need to do is go to www.google.com forward slash AdWords and sign up for a free account. This account you can use to run advertisements. You don't have to, but it is what we will utilize to do our keyword research. The next thing that we're going to do is click on search for new keyword and ad group ideas. Now there's a few different ways that you can utilize this tool. The first one is to actually take the URL of your product page and paste it right here into the landing page field. But we're not going to do that. We're going to go ahead and just search penguin shirt and see what kind of suggestions Google gives us for this keyword term. After loading for a minute, Google is going to give you two tabs. The first one is going to be ad group ideas. The second one is going to be keyword ideas. We're going to go ahead and click on the keyword ideas. Now there's actually quite a few different kinds of keywords we could optimize this product page for. We've got a penguin, we've got a funny penguin shirt, and we've even got the option right here where users can customize the shirt further so we could even uh, utilize create your own type of shirt keywords. Now that we've got our list of keywords, there's a few things that we need to take a look at. First of all, here on the left-hand sidebar, you've got your targeting. What this is telling us is that we're currently looking at data uh, for searches done in the United States by English-speaking people on Google's search engine, um, and we don't have any negative keywords. That's more for advertising. We'll get into that in a later tutorial. Uh, but what we are going to do is we're going to change this from Google to Google and Search Partners because that's going to give us uh, a better snapshot of the actual search volume. And as you can see for Penguin Shirt, that went from 720 to 2900 because those are all search engines. Um, okay, so now that we've got that done, what we're going to take a look at is the different uh, factors that are being reported right here. The first column here is going to be our search term. We've also got a graph right here that if you hover over it, it'll kind of show you the trends of that particular keyword. Monthly search volume, competition, uh, suggested bid. Now if we were going to be doing advertising through Google AdWords, this is about what it would cost you per click. Uh, Google AdWords is a little more expensive. We usually use Google product ads. It is Google, but the cost per click is much lower. You're looking at around five to 10 cents as opposed to this 50 cents. But again, we'll talk about that in a later tutorial. Um, so what we primarily need to know is the search term and what the monthly volume of search there is for it. Now what we're going to be doing is making a short list of keywords to optimize our page for. You don't want to try to optimize for a lot of keywords. If you try to optimize any page for more than three keywords, you're probably not going to end up ranking very high for any of them. Uh, so penguin shirts is definitely something that we want to optimize for. So we're going to add that. And let's pick out a couple more here. I see right here that penguin polo shirts is searched 390 times per month. So that's an example of what keyword research can do as far as giving you ideas for future products to create. 
And since we've already created the penguin shirt, uh, like in a previous tutorial, we showed that you can take that design and add it over multiple products. So we could add that design to a polo shirt very quickly um, and optimize it for these keywords. But let's get back to this current product. So let's pick a couple more keyword terms to optimize this web page for. As we scroll down, I see original penguin shirt. Now, the search volume of this term may be lower than some of the other ones like, say, Penguin Brand, but what I'm also looking at is not only the relevance to the product, but we're also looking at the competition. Because this is less competitive, I'm going to go ahead and pick this keyword term as well. And let's pick one more. How about Penguin Shirts for Men? Again, the search volume is lower, but so is the competition. And if you think of it this way, with those keywords that we just added, that's about 4,000 searches a month between those three keywords. And if you were to optimize your page and end up on the first page of Google searches for those keywords, uh, you're looking at getting at least about 50% of the traffic. If you get up in the top three results, you're looking at about 80-90% of the traffic. So for those 4,000 searches, uh, you could be looking at around 35-3600 visits to your website a month just by optimizing for those three keywords. Now that we have our three keywords, I'm going to go ahead and just click this right here. And it's got my three keywords as a reminder for what I'm going to be optimizing for. So now I have a split screen. On the left hand side here I've navigated to my decorated products section of my website in the back end. And on the right hand side I've got my keywords that I'm going to be optimizing this product right here for. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is click on the configure button. And right here we've got the name, category, description, which is going to show on the front end. Um, so I've got don't poke the penguin unisex short sleeve shirt. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to come up with a description for this product that incorporates these keywords. So we have entered the description. This is an awesome addition to our line of penguin shirts, which incorporates this keyword right here, penguin shirts for men. So this also incorporates the keyword penguin shirts for men. And finally we've got it is an original penguin shirt with an amazing professional design incorporating this keyword right here original penguin shirt. We've also added in this funny t-shirt will have your buddies laughing. That's just kind of an additional keyword funny t-shirt um, that's an extremely competitive keyword, but we threw it in there in hopes of ranking for it. Now this is what's going to show on the front end. Now we need to take a look at what the search engines see when they're crawling your this specific web page. And that is found in the meta settings. In the meta settings, and again this is code that's included in your web page that only search engines see, but it's what they're looking for when trying to rank web pages and decide one of the many factors of deciding who ranks the highest for specific search terms. Now what we're going to want to do first is change this title and we're going to do it by clicking on the override default uh, checkbox right here and we're going to go ahead and paste a new title in here. So we're going to keep the first part, don't poke the penguin because that's what it says on the shirt. And then we're going to put dash penguin shirts for men utilizing this keyword. One of the things that we should also mention is that that page title is generally what search engines show when they're returning results. So you want to make it something that people are going to be interested in clicking on. To just stuff a bunch of keywords into your page title is not going to do you any good. It's actually going to penalize you. So we want to title uh, our web page, Don't Poke the Penguins, Penguin Shirts for Men, because that will drive people to click on it. 
The next field is going to be your meta keywords. Now, meta keywords are not nearly as important as they used to be, say, 10 years ago. But we're going to go ahead and just check that box. And we're going to go ahead and include our keywords that we have decided we want to rank for. Now the last field is going to be the meta description. Out of the two fields, the page title and the meta description are definitely the most important. And we're just going to go back over here and we're going to copy the first two sentences that we included. We're going to check this box. And so the description, it needs to be around 140 characters. More, if it's more than 140 characters, uh, the search engines are going to um, basically have a trailing stop at the end. But just like the title, this is what people are going to see in the search results. And so you want your description to entice people to click, uh, to click on your website and, and visit your website. So we have currently edited the meta title, keywords, and the description. So we're going to go ahead and click save. So now we're back out on the front end of our website. And as you can see, we have a description right here that we included. And if you look up here, we're using Firefox. It says, don't poke the penguin dash penguin shirts for men. Uh, it shows that that's what it's going to show Google and other search engines that you are optimizing for and uh, this will help you out and put you ahead of a lot of the other websites that aren't utilizing this strategy. It doesn't take very long to optimize your web pages and over the life of your website it will definitely help you out. Guys, that's going to do it for this tutorial. I want to thank you for taking the time to listen and hope to see you at the next one.